there are many unexplained ancient mysteries upon the small and unimaginably remote Easter Island within Polynesia. Guarded by a barrier of sea some thousand miles in span on all sides, thus we have often postulated that anyone who found the island without sophisticated global navigational techniques, any soul lost at sea, would have been extremely lucky to land on its shores, but in a bittersweet twist of fate, would have known they would never see their homelands again. We feel the evidence present on the island, for a now lost civilization is all but overwhelming, not only for the impressive and rather intimidating moai which litter its shores, each created out of many tons of solid stone, yet somehow, at some time in the very distant past, were moved to their current resting places, a mystery as large as the construction of the pyramids, it has baffled all that have tried to explain them. Yet there also exists a series of texts, just as enigmatic and so far undeciphered. Known as Rango Rango, not only have many of the surviving texts been lost, stolen or destroyed over the centuries, but even the official hypothesis put forward, we feel oozes with deception techniques. Quote, Several scholars have suggested that Rango Rango may have been an invention inspired by the Spanish visit in 1770, via the signing of the Treaty of Annexation. As circumstantial evidence, they note that no explorer reported the script prior to Eugene Erod in 1864, and are of the opinion that the marks which the chiefs signed the Spanish treaty resembled Rongo Rongo. The hypothesis of these researchers is that the concept of writing had been conveyed in a process anthropologists term transcultural diffusion, which then inspired the islanders to invent their own system of writing. If this is the case, then Rongo Rongo emerged, flourished, fell into oblivion, and was all but forgotten within a span of less than a hundred years." End quote. We do, of course, have our own hypothesis. We feel that these writings were present prior to 1770, and that we can prove it. The woods used came from many places all over the world, not just from native trees. A number of the surviving tablets were made from an old shipwreck, suggesting that the wood upon the island had all but ran out when these astonishing texts were created. This to us suggests they were hastily made in an attempt to preserve the island's secret knowledge, knowledge possibly covered up after it was realized what many of these tablets detailed. For it is known that ancient citizens of the island even wore wood clothing. The importance of this material to the ancient dwellers there is undeniable. Yet all these writings were made upon surviving scraps, driftwoods, and wrecks upon the island, a very rare event indeed. Yet by the time these tablets were documented in the 1800s, no importance to the writings were displayed by any inhabitants some tablets even reportedly being used to fashion a driftwood canoe. Additionally, why would these islanders have gone to such lengths with shark teeth to create a random sequence of patterns upon driftwood? Why would they not have known of writing? There would have been outsiders landing on the island periodically over the ages, not forgetting the other unexplained enigmas on the island. We feel our hypothesis more fitting of the evidence at hand. Only time will tell who were closer to the mark. What was Rongo Rongo? What do these tablets really detail? It is a mystery which we find highly compelling.